back to our channel. This is Mitch Alico coming at you from right outside of London. We're in Weymouth, Weymouth, something along those lines. We just landed here coming off our cruise and we're in this small quaint little town. It's adorable. There's little shops and restaurants, everything everywhere, including tour guides. They're like strategically placed throughout the town to tell you exactly what you need to do here. Now our number one goal when we got here was to go to Stonehenge. The the tours were all like $200 and sold out before we even arrived, so we've been trying to figure out an alternative way to get there. Um, asking every tour guide around here, but everyone's saying, do not drive all the way out there. You're just driving for a couple hours to go see it and coming straight back. You should stay in the town and spend money on souvenirs and enjoy yourself <laughs> in this little town. It's the pile rock. And it's like a 50-50 argument with uh, each other, me and Mitch, like, should we go and commit the whole day to trying to get to this wonder of the world for you guys, or should we just chill in the town and take it easy? Now, let us know in the comments down below where you think that we're gonna end up because it's still up in the air for us, but we wanted to take you along the journey, our day in whatever this country is, whatever the city is. England. England. Way mouth. <laughs> Way mouth, and uh, take you along for the ride. So let's see where we end up. <laughs> so tell us what the locals think of Stonehenge. Just a pile of rocks in the middle of nowhere. Did it, did but it. there is a lot of attractions. Like when we were in Mexico, we were trying to get to Chichen Itza, and it was a two and a half hour ride into the countryside, nothing to be seen. And then you get there, that's the appeal. And the same with Egypt when we were there too. You know, you're driving two and a half hours to get to all these landmarks, and it's a commitment. You're committing to this world of wonder, this attraction. It is what it is. We've been zigzagging through the city. First we were trying to find a taxi to get to Stonehenge. Then we got talked out of it by countless locals. And so now we've landed at the number one rated on Google fish and chips place. But you know what? It's not on the beach. So we might just grab a snack here and then make it back out to the beach where we just were and um, head out around there. And I even saw an arcade. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to dip into there, but <laughs> we'll see where the day takes us. Hello, I'm finally joining the video. So yeah, like Ella was saying, uh, we are in the town of Weymouth and in England. This is a really cute, quaint town. Um, I'd actually recommend coming here and visiting. It reminds me of um, Seaside, Oregon, if you guys have ever been to Seaside, Oregon. Um, almost even has the same carnival feel as Santa Monica Pier in California. This is a really cool spot. I had no idea this existed. Um, when we went to Alexandria in Egypt, this is something that we thought what it would be like. It was not. It was a lot more dirty, a lot more crowded. This is very cute, very quaint, uh, very easy to get around. Again, the walkability is awesome. Uh, again, one of the things that you'd notice from this trip of what we're doing in the background is, is that we got off, because we've been doing the cruise ship, we got off of this one, took a tiny little bus ride from the port and then into this town. Everything in this town, like you said, is walkable. There's, uh, it's, it seems like a really good family friendly town. It has the arcades. We even saw a sand castle that was built, a really cool sand castle. So we're gonna continue to spend time in Weymouth. We're gonna give you guys a full review, full tour of this. Um, and then we'll explain towards the end of the video why we didn't go to Stonehenge, um, even though I really, really wanted to go to Stonehenge. So uh, we'll explain why we didn't go, and uh, we'll probably end up going there in the future and giving you guys a review of that as well. Finally. <laughs> Okay, what do you think? So, Mitch is a really big Google uh, reviewer and gets all his points and everything, but that's one of the things that we do often with businesses, restaurants, and attractions is see what kind of reviews are on Google. This place has the number one best Google review. It was delicious. For fish and chips, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. The portions are huge with the fries. They're just overflowing. It was a great atmosphere on the inside. It even had a fish tank. Uh, we're going to continue on wandering through the city, find some nice places to shop. To yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see where this we go. This might be a, like all the other videos one day in Weymouth, right? Yeah, exactly. There we go. <laughs> this caught her eye. It is. It's a loaf of bread. We've been walking for a little bit. We made it to this fun amusement arcade. Gabriel is going to play some skee ball. We're going to play a little bit of arcade games. We're going to show you in. Weymouth is really cool. This definitely feels like a hundred percent of a tourism town. So let's go play a game. Let's see how she does. Find ski ball, but this is 
service guard is just as good. We actually had two euros left over for our bus ride yesterday, so wish me luck. You gotta really hit it. Nice job. I won. Look at this. This is like Chuck E. Cheese flashbacks. I'm the ultimate winner. I want to see what I can get for these. What can you get I in feel Weymouth? I gypped. This is 30. A bouncy ball is 40. She didn't hit the balls enough on the machine. I didn't win hard enough. So. All right, let's get back out of here. Yes. Okay. Bells. We just stopped at Bells. We were actually walking through and the line was around the corner. It's died down since then, but it's a tradi traditional bank shop. We're picking up a couple almost brownies. It looks like they specialize in cakes. I am so excited. We got a rocky toffee and a flapjack. Pretty reasonably priced too. They're like two dollars, two euros each. So I am about to enjoy myself. I think they're pounds now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we we're can't all keep track. Rotating through the country, it's too fast on the cruise ship. They all take credit card. Look at the outside. It's so cute. You can definitely find it if you're walking through. Another what here, Gabriella? McDonald's. No, a Mockies. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's right over there. You they're, gotta say like the locals. We haven't seen a Starbucks here though. Because usually it's Starbucks, Subway, and McDonald's. And KFC. Everywhere. Oh, and, and the KFC. KFC is really popular. We found this cute boutique. If you are questioning whether the fashion is totally different by country, this is a great indicator because I feel like a lot of the stuff in this store is more, um, cost to me, to me, but I think it's well dressed to other people. So like, let's see. This? It reminds me of like a 70s party. Or if you're in a movie and you got like your teenage friends and you come in and you try on like all the hats okay, and stuff. We're in this small boutique and if you ever think that fashion is totally different throughout the country, this is the epitome of what I think it is. Because when you come here, to me this almost looks like costume wear. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a little too crazy for me, but I can appreciate the variety. <laughs> we have been to the Red Sea, to the Mediterranean Sea, to the Atlantic Ocean, to the Pacific Ocean, and now we have made it to the English Channel. I took my shoes off. I'm ready to dip my toes just so I can say I went in. I think they said it's like 18 Celsius, and I don't know what that calculates to, but all of you that are not from America, you know. So I think it's gonna be cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely so windy though. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my hat. Oh my gosh, you probably can't even hear me, but it was delightful. We finally found one of these photo booths. I am so excited. These are like the cliche red ones that you see everywhere. It's actually right next to our cruise ship. So we hopped in here for a photo shoot really quick, but we just wanted to hop on and recap our day. It was a great day in Weymouth, 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 however you say it. Beautiful little town. Originally we set out to go to Stonehenge, but after talking to countless uh, locals and tour guides, we realized that it was a little crazy for us to leave the cruise ship, drive two hours with maybe no traffic to get there for 15 minutes and then drive another two hours back. It would have wiped out our whole day. So we decided to stay in town, found the best fish and chips in town off of Google, found a cute little pastry spot, dipped into the arcade. You came with us and it, it was just a great time. You can put your feet on the beach. In the oh yeah, and we even went into the English Channel just the toes because it was pretty icy but it was it was a great time a great town the architecture was adorable highly recommend if you're coming into town into port um, there's a reason why the cruise ship stops here and drops you off and makes sure you get there so in the future we definitely want to make it to Stonehenge but we think that it's more recommendable to drive in from London and drive over like I'm sure a majority of people do in 
instead of the back roads that are from our cruise port. So anyways, uh, let us know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more. This is Mitch Ellico coming at you and we'll see where we're off to next.